Hello, my beautiful people. My name is Kristen. Thank you for taking time to stop on my channel. I have a goal in 2021 to do at least one book related video each week. I'm thinking it'll come out either on Wednesday or Thursday. It's going to be my midweek video. And so I am going to kind of start the year looking at book genres that I want to accomplish and have like a goal list. So that way at the end of the year, I can check myself, see how I did and all that kind of good stuff. So I've already got my classics up. Stay tuned for nonfiction and fiction. And then I have been wanting to do new releases, but here's the deal. I'm cheap. I don't want to spend my money on the new hardback releases, even though sometimes, you know, bookstores give you 10% off or whatever, but you know, when they're $25, $30 a book, that's rather pricey if you think about, you know, 12 books in a year at least. And so several of my friends here on YouTube have been doing book of the month. And I discovered that particularly if you get a entire year, like you know you're gonna have a goal of reading a new release each month, it works out to $12.50 including the shipping. Comes to your house, you get to pick from you know four to six different choices of books that come out. So I decided to pull the trigger and do that because I, I can do that. So now I am definitely going to read one classic, one nonfiction, one older fiction, and then one new release. And then of course I'll read whatever I can get to in that month. But I think that's a great goal. So at least a book a week, right, is the goal. So. I'm not sure. It comes in this beautiful cobalt blue, one of my very favorite colors. Let me see if it's just the one. Yeah, it's just the one side. And I picked for my book, The Remove by Brandon Hobson. And let me see if it, how, what they, what all they give. This is my first one. So if you do this, I think if you don't do the annual, it's $14.99 a month, which is still really good because that's like shipping. I mean, that's how much it is to ship something. <laughs> the five book bookstore. No algorithms, just humans. We're keeping it a hundred at nearly a hundred. Promoting the best new voices every month since 1926. Wow. Has the book of the month been around that long? Do you remember there used to be in magazines, here I'm dating myself, so if you're young, I'm 51. So there used to be like in magazines or even in the back of books, there would be like where you could send off for new books or like order, you know, book subscriptions kind of thing. Cause it was like magazines and books were what you got. We didn't, we didn't really have the internet and <laughs> digital. There was no eBooks, so. Anyway, this is just a little promo. It doesn't tell me anything about my specific book. And then I'll wait here. Look, it's a cute little bookmark. I'll wait here. Get it? <laughs> it's the little things, y'all. I'm totally going to save all those and put them with my bookmark collection. So let's see what the cover says. In the 15 years since their teenage son, Ray Ray was killed in a police shooting the Ichota family has been suspended in private grief. The mother, Maria, increasingly struggles to manage the onset of Alzheimer's in her husband, Ernest. Their adult daughter, Sonia, leads a life of solitude, punctuated only by spells of dizzy and romantic obsession. And their remaining son, Edgar, fled home long ago, turning to drugs to mute his feelings of isolation. With the family's annual bonfire approaching, an occasion marking both the Cherokee National Holiday and Ray Ray's death, and a rare moment in which they openly talk about his memory, Maria attempts to call the family together from their physical and emotional distance once more. But as the bonfire draws near, each of them feels a strange blurring of the boundary between normal life and spirit world. Maria and Ernest take in a foster child who seems almost miraculously to keep Ernest's mental fog at bay. Sonia becomes dangerously fixated on a man named Vin, despite or perhaps because of his ties to the tragedy in her lifetime and to lifetimes before. And in the wake of a suicide attempt, Edgar finds himself in a darkening land, a place between living and dead where old atrocities echo. 
Drawing on Cherokee folklore, the removed seamlessly blends the real and spiritual to excavate the deep reverberations of trauma, a meditation on family, grief, home, and the power of stories on the both personal and ancestral level. So it sounds a little heady, to be honest, and I have been, I'm trying to think, three, four, four Native American reservations doing missions or cultural exchanges, going to several powwows. I had the deep honor of attending a sweat lodge, and I'm just very appreciative and enthralled and intrigued by so many of the Native American traditions and folklore and just learning about that particular prejudice and bias that you know we continue to kind of harbor without even realizing it sometimes and just realizing that those reservations become like almost a third world country within our country and so there were several aspects of this book that just really appealed to me and spoke to me and thought that I could learn something even though it's a fiction book it's obviously kind of not a historical fiction novel but you know what I'm saying like a good author researches some truth and has that truth aspect in there and so I just I don't know it will be one of my upcoming books in my book reviews probably February March at the latest I may run two months behind sometimes but depending on what it is that I have to read, but we'll see. So that is it. If you would like to do book of the month, I would strongly encourage you to use someone's link. I will leave mine below. On their website, they run specials. I think the current special is your first book for $9.99, but if you use somebody's link, you get your first book for $5. So use somebody's link and save that extra $5 off the first book, right? So I use my good friend, Michelle Escalin, I will leave her link below because she does book reviews and unboxings and you might want to check out her channel and so I used her link and got my first book so I only paid five dollars. No shipping. This was it. Five dollars y'all for this hardback new release book. So it's got to give me at least five dollars worth of enjoyment, right? I appreciate you stopping by, checking it out. You have a beautiful day. Happy reading y'all.